In this video, we are going to understand the lesson Mother's Day, which is a play in your 11th class syllabus. It is written by J.B. Priestley. Let's begin with the video. John Boynton Priestley. The inclusive years are 1894 to 1984. He was an English novelist, a playwright, screenwriter, broadcaster, and social commentator. He served in the infantry in World War I. He first established a reputation with the essays, with a collection of essays which was titled The English Comic Characters, published in the year 1925, and The English Novel, published in the year 1927. He achieved enormous popular success with The Good Companions. It was published in the year 1929. It is a picaresque novel about a group of travelling performers. Priestley was also a prolific dramatist. He had good-humoured comedies as Labnam Grove, published in the year 1933, and When We Are Married in the year 1938. There are certain issues which are raised by the writer throughout the play Mother's Day. It is a satirical and humorous depiction of the status of the women in particular a housewife in a family. The play raises some serious issues that are faced by many women around the world, especially by a housewife. Many women out there sulk and suffer in silence. Women are left as unappreciated, disrespected, taken for granted, ignored, overlooked, although they put so much of themselves to build up their family. The play focuses attention on the point that situation of women won't get better by someone else realizing their follies. But it can only be changed when women themselves know their worth and stand up for their own rights. So the rights and the importance of women, it would only be considered by everybody else when a woman herself knows her worth. Let us understand the lesson Mother's Day. The play revolves around the main character that is Mrs. Pearson. She is treated poorly like a slave and like a servant by her children and her husband. She is a timid and a weak person. On a daily basis, her kids disrespect and disregard her. Thus, she felt a lot of ignorance and embarrassment every day. Not only from her daughter Doris and her son Cyril, but also from her husband, that is George Pearson. So she is disrespected and treated poorly by her daughter, that is Doris, by her son, that is Cyril, and the husband's name is George Pearson. The three of them treat her poorly. Mrs. Pearson meets Mrs. Fitzgerald and her life turns around. Mrs. Fitzgerald is a fortune teller. Mrs. Pearson discusses her family members and their terrible behavior with her. Mrs. Pearson is a strong and sinister personality. She recommends her to change personalities to teach her family a good lesson. At first, Mrs. Pearson is reluctant. She doesn't agree. But after some encouragement, she agrees to switch bodies. So Mrs. Fitzgerald and Mrs. Pearson decide to switch their bodies. Mrs. Fitzgerald would be in the body of Mrs. Pearson and Mrs. Pearson would be in the body of Mrs. Fitzgerald. So, there is a soul switch which is seen in the play and Mrs. Fitzgerald, the fortune teller, is the one who does the switch of souls or spirits. Mrs. Fitzgerald casts a spell and her personality with Mrs. Pearson is swapped. So, Mrs. Fitzgerald gets in the body of Mrs. Pearson and Mrs. Pearson gets in the body of Mrs. Fitzgerald. In a matter of seconds, their personalities switch. Mrs. Pearson, who was calm and composed, is now smoking and drinking. Mrs. Fitzgerald is now sitting idle. It's Mrs. Pearson in her body. The scene changes. Mrs. Pearson is in her home and Doris enters home. She hands her a dress 
and asks her to iron as she has to go on a date with her boyfriend Charlie Spence. The name of her boyfriend is Charlie Spence. Remember that, children. She is even in shock. So the daughter, that is Doris, is in shock. Why? Because she is seeing her mother smoking, and she objects to that. And when she asks her, Mrs. Pearson replies very harshly and advises her to do her work herself. Further, she makes fun of her boyfriend, that is Charlie Spence. Afterwards, Doris feels miserable and shamed, and she starts to cry. when her mother insults and rebukes her then her son cyril enters he asks his mother hurriedly if his tea is ready on which mrs pearson refuses and advises him to prepare it himself after seeing his mother's reaction and his sister crying he raises his voice he calls mrs fitzgerald an old hag Mrs Pearson corrects him and instructs him to mind his language. The kids talk about being worn out after work. Cyril had to work for about 8 hours and tells he is too tired. On this Mrs Pearson makes it very clear to both of them that they all will work equally from that day onwards and she will not work at weekends. and would rather enjoy with her friends so here we are seeing mrs pearson who was a timid personality a very scared and timid woman she is now making huge decisions why because mrs fitzgerald is in her body and she is instructing and commanding and correcting the children of mrs pearson mr pearson enters the house and expresses his surprise on seeing his wife drinking and smoking he objects mrs pearson makes him realize that if he can drink then she can too so mrs pearson makes it very clear that if the man that is mr pearson if he can drink so can mrs pearson there is no division and distinction between the two they are two equal people joined together they are not uh, one that is elevated and the other that is submitted or dominated but they are what they are equal She tells him that instead of spending his time with his wife, he is spending time with people who are making fun of him behind his back. The people at the club call him Pompey Ompey, Pearson, because he is so slow and pompous. They call him names. So she makes it very clear that he is spending time with people at the club who actually are making fun of him. Mrs. Pearson sees the way in which her husband. and children are being treated and she just cannot bear it she asks mrs fitzgerald to switch back as the drama has gone too far they switch back and come back to their original personalities mrs fitzgerald advises her not to be soft again if she would not be firm and if she turns soft again it would all go to waste also she shouldn't apologize or explain anything about her behavior this is what the advice is given by mrs fitzgerald to mrs pearson george doris and cyril enter in and look anxiously at mrs pearson mrs pearson smiles at them they smile back at her she declares that they would have a nice game of rummy together then the children would go get the supper ready george and cyril agree Doris hesitates a bit to which Mrs Pearson replies sharply Doris agrees to the plan and the play ends so by the end of the play we see that George Doris and Cyril are changed they are changed why because Mrs Pearson became a strong woman and when she started to ask for her rights they had to change and they had to agree to her terms and conditions So Mrs Pearson who was a timid and shy woman now turns as a smart and bold woman and now she is getting whatever she wants demanding for her needs and getting it done she has received the respect which she always desired for Thank you for watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more